guys, welcome to part 3 of how to make a stealth game in Unity. And today, we're going to learn how to kill the enemies. So, for this, we're actually going to create a knife. So, our, um, our weapon is going to be a knife. And what just happened here? Okay, so, our weapon is a knife. So, let's um, get started by fixing this thing on my screen, which has randomly just appeared. Okay, and I love this new Unity feature, it's just so neat. It's just like you can just change the height of anything and also just move it around. Okay, so how are we going to go around doing this? Because like, obviously right now, even if we sneak up on them, it doesn't matter if they're not looking at us. It still kills us off. But how are we going to stop this? Well, we did create a variable. Um, it's called is facing. So how we're going to do it is if the cap, um, enemy is not facing us, then um, we can kill him. But if he is and we try to stab him, then you know, we're going to die. Okay, so let's go to this third constraint. Yes, third constraint, and change. Wait, well, keep the can kill not equal to none. No, and and do and and is facing is equal to true. So we have to make sure it is true. Then he can kill us. Now, now if we just quickly play this, um, I know one of the enemies. Okay, so this guy is not facing us currently, and we go right up behind him, and he doesn't kill us. But we go right up in front of him, and he kills us easy. Okay, now how are we going to actually kill them? Well, it's going to be quite easy. Um, we're going to have a sensor for our player, which is like this. Okay, so hold on. Let's go into... Where are you? FPS controller. Okay, and we're going to create an AI of its own. Let me just do that. Create new AI. Okay, so let me just sensors. Visual sensor. And let's call this... Uh, we already have one. Enemy die. No, kill sensor. Okay, and let's see the range of this thing now. We can't stab somebody from that big away, so it's like it's like three. Way too big still. Not like two. Yes, this seems fine. And you can't stab somebody backwards. No, I'll keep it like that. Okay, now that seems fine. And let's let's make it so you can stab, not just one uh, one like two hundred. Because this is the player we're talking about. We don't want to make it too hard. Okay, now it's uh, let's not make an object just yet. Okay. Uh, okay. Now we need to go to the okay hold on so let's let's delete this one this one this one these three enemies uh we need to delete all the enemies except for one okay so you're the only enemy and um since we're going to be changing lots of things now let's drag this body into here okay and now delete this body and drag in here, okay. We ju I just like doing that for neatness, okay. Well, now we've got a prefab. Now let's click on the body, create new entity, and on the entity, make it a visual as aspect, and call this uh, enemy, okay. And it's just called an enemy. It's quite simple. Okay, now let's go back into, let's go into our FPS controller, AI, let's uh, apply this, click on AI, and it's called an enemy kill sensor, let's copy that, let's go into our memory, create a bulk, so can kill enemy, 
okay and also remember that okay let's go to behavior tree editor and let's create a new behavior tree called player player AI and um, let's switch this to a parallel okay now let's go into create actions detect okay let's uh, let's make this sensor what I copied and the uh, aspect was quite easy as an enemy and the aspect variable we'll call this enemy enemy and enemy okay now let's create a constraint and another constraint and, and it's here and create under this an expression create under this an expression okay and my constraint is enemy is e enemy is not equal to no uh, come on, no, and then we'll call this can kill enemy is equal to true, and uh, let's go here, and enemy is equal to no, then can kill enemy is equal to false. Okay. Now, just like before, we're going to add a can kill enemy check, big script name. Let's double click to open. Okay, now let's just go into our previous can kill check and let's go to here. And where is it now? Can And let's paste this rain action can kill checker okay um hold on okay and let's copy this whole sh uh, script should check from here to here from the should kill checker and just paste it in here okay now we should do this okay now what we're gonna do is change this one to can kill enemy okay and um and just here hold on delete this okay now here make if input dot get mouse button down don't and just don't do just get mouse button because that will just make it cheating because they can just hold down the mouse button and whenever they get near an enemy it will just kill them okay put zero for left mouse and just go under this and add a bracket and now everything should work and I should be able to kill objects oh wait no I shouldn't actually um Oh, ah, okay, create a game object, and this can be called the enemy, ah, enemy, come on, enemy, oh, wait, enemy object, And create an expression saying enemy object equals uh, enemy yeah enemy and um, game hold on create another expression sorry guys I'm really tired today enemy object equals uh, I'm just going to click this no okay now it should work um so let me go in here 
Remove removable object should equal to is equal to get this rig dot AI dot working memory dot get item as a game object um, and enemy object I think that's what I called it enemy object right okay there happy now okay let me just cut this paste this here and make this just a game object equals removable object let's go in here and let's check if the enemy object changes I really really doubt it changing there we go we, it doesn't work okay 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 I think I know why well I, I know uh, I'm pretty sure it might be for this but why isn't this guy doing anything let's, let's go into here AI oh he hasn't got a waypoint thing so I'll just add this random a random no let's not because it will make it easier for us um, let's just go into the AI of you and click you okay there we go okay so as you can see this is like this but when we okay so the enemy object is not changing so if I click here you should die there we go so look okay look again if I step right in front he does nothing why doesn't he do anything just kinda weird okay so we do have a problem for you what's your problem hmm I think it's because you've got no waypoint because it might collide with the other stuff let me just add this to you let's go here waypoint route I turn around. Okay. Okay, we got a problem on our hands. It doesn't seem to care about me. But the can chase is not initiating. Why is that not initiating? Let's see. Okay, removable object. Oh, sorry, removable. Okay, so obviously we haven't set these things. So let me just set it. Okay, hold on. Let me just go into the uh, head and just add this. And this. Okay. Now let me just go around here back. And now everything should be in orderly fashion. Let me check now. There we go. And this time we should be also able to stab him because I don't like him. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. I got him. Okay, I, I really think now. Let's go to AI. I'm going to make the range. No, I'm going to make it... 280 so I just don't want him to hit the back part so I don't want him to be able to kill backwards because that would kind of be weird wouldn't it wait what's this Okay, so once we do that, 
Um, once we do that, we're just going to check if it's easy enough. So we're, there we go. That's that's perfect now. Now we can go behind him and click, and then he disappears. But if we try to go on the side, it also works. But it's just that if we go right in front of him, he doesn't like it. Okay, and um, he has a nice range. But um, yeah, that that's now we can like kill them, which is really really cool, handy now. So let me just. Uh, duplicate these I just put like how many waypoints do I have? One, two, three, four. So I have three, four now. Let me just assign each of their own um sorry. Um uh let me just assign each of their own little waypoints for you. I will give you waypoint route three for you, I'll give you waypoint route two. For you, I will give you waypoint route. Waypoint route. Okay. Now let's just play it, and everything should be working just as it was before. But now you can just stab them, and they're back for no reason at all. Okay. So let me. Oh, good. Okay. So now there's actually an objective to this game. Okay, so this should be... Hey, what happened to you? Poor guy. I think I just crushed him with a wall. Let's delete this wall. Okay, let's go now. Oh, yep, yeah, that's fun. Okay, hold on. Come on. Oh, 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 skills, the sk Yeah, they'll, they'll, I'll lose them, because my speed is amazing. Oh, wow. Okay, so, we know that we can stab them now, right? So, let's just go here. And say we delete this one. We say we delete this one. Hold on. No wrong one. I'm just showing you a, a, a demo. Okay, now. This is my demo. Oh, so they don't have waypoints. Now they're just mindless drones chasing me, doing nothing else but their lives. Is this it? Okay. Hold on. Let me make sure. Okay, so you guys get the point, right? It's actually quite simple. The game and um so far and we'll be adding levels and much much more fun stuff in a few more episodes okay here here's my quick oh come on stay still okay guys thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next episode have fun till then